as usual, I've already done my face. A full list of products can be found on my blog which will be linked below. Now I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows with my usual eyebrow pencil. I'm not going for a special shape, I'm just doing them in my usual way. Feel free to use whatever brow product you usually use. Now I'm priming my eyes with my usual eyeshadow primer. I'm just patting this onto the lid and then blending it out. I'm also going to apply some of this above my brow because we're going to be drawing and applying eyeshadow on there later. I'm not going to apply this under the eyes however because I do not want too much product on my under eye area. And after a quick background change because I finally decided what I was going to do, I'm going to start off with Sugar Pills Frosty in Eyeshadow. This has a very nice lilac shift and I'm just going to define my crease with it. Basically mapping out the entire shape that we're going to dot on with the liquid lipsticks later on with this eyeshadow. So I'm also going to run this on my lower lash line. And then following the middle of my iris, I'm going to drag this downwards and upwards. Now I'm using Sugar Pills Velocity and I'm going to define my crease area. While I do spend quite some time making sure this is blended out really nicely, you don't have to worry about that because you're going to apply the liquid lipstick over that later. I'm also going to go back in with Frosty in every now and then just so that we don't lose that colour. I'm also going to drag Velocity onto my lower lash line, down my cheek, and also above my brow. Over here, I'm trying to shape a bit of the triangular shape, but not too much. I'm gonna go back in at Frosty and like I said, to bring back the colour and also to make sure that the edges are really nice and soft. Now I'm going in with this purple eyeshadow from Melt Cosmetics. And I'm going to define my brow bow nose bridge junction over there. I'm dragging this upwards and downwards. And I'm also going to blend it out with a clean blending brush. Now using the same eyeshadow on my finger, I'm just going to pack this onto the lid. And now the fun part. I'm going to use this blue liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and I'm just going to use the back of a brush and use that rounded edge to create the shape that I want. What I did was I went in with the back of the brush first to create the bigger dots and then I used a nail art dotting tool just to get finer dots around the edges. The goal is to get the most color concentration on the middle part so like your crease and your under eye and that have it slowly blend out into a triangular and pointed shape. So I'm just working slowly, continuously going back and forth with the dotter and the back of the brush just to get a nice effect. As the liquid lipstick dries down, it starts to get a little dull and the colour isn't as vibrant as it was before so you might want to layer it a few times. I also brought Frosty in back because I wanted that purpley sheen. Now I'm going in with I'm Royalty which is a purple liquid lipstick. I'm just adding a bit of tonal variety to the splotchy thing we have going on. And then I'm using Weirdo which is my favourite black liquid lipstick just to add dimension. I'm mainly focusing this onto the middle part of the triangular shapes and also on my lower lash line and crease. Don't be too afraid to go really dark with this because it is a very graphic look so you can't really go wrong. Now I'm just tight lining my eyes with a liquid liner. I'm gonna go in with this purple highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just gonna apply that onto the inner corners of my eye and a bit on the lower lash line. I'm also gonna highlight my brow bone with this and pat a little bit of that onto the middle of my lid. I'm using this purpley duochrome glitter I got from eBay. I'd suggest you use something that is not shady and an actual cosmetic glitter, but I'm basically mixing this with some mixing medium and applying that onto the corner of my eye, the top of my brow, and underneath the middle of my lower lash line. I've already applied my usual mascara on my top and bottom lashes, so now I'm just gonna apply a pair of falsies from Eskido. These are flat on the edges, so it really adds to that just the cat eye kind of shape. And then I cut up a pair of cheaper falsies and I'm just applying the longest ends underneath my pupil, just where that point is. I'm going to emphasize it a bit more with a mascara and I'm just packing that on there so that that lash looks a bit longer and more defined. 
Now that I've got my little jestery bells on, these are basically a pair of plush horns from Daiso and I just sewed on a pair of belts on through the ends of them. I'm gonna contour my face with the purple eyeshadow we used on our lids. So I'm just running that underneath my cheekbone and on the sides of my face basically. I'm also gonna go with a bit of frosting and use that on the top edge of where I contoured. And forget to contour that jawline too. Now I'm taking Frostine on a large blending brush and I'm just applying that in a circular shape onto my nose. And then I'm gonna use Promiscuous and do the same thing, except with my finger. I'm blending this out slowly so we have a nice little, I guess, flush on my nose. And I'm using my dotting tool and the purple lipstick from before and drawing a little dot on my nose. For the lips, I'm just going back with the blue liquid lipstick and first I'm just going to apply it normally. And honestly, you can stop here if you don't want to go too dramatic, but I took a silicone eyeliner brush from Real Techniques and I drew out my lips in the classic clown smile kind of shape. Just take your time to get the shape you want. I readjusted it a lot off camera because it is kind of difficult to get a nice shape. Once you're happy with what you've got, you're basically done! Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. This is my last Halloween tutorial and I'm sad to see Halloween go. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out my blog for a full list of products. If you want to see another video, just click the box over there. Thank you once again, have a safe Halloween and I'll see you soon!